out here at Via Verde today. I'm Trevor Schultz, and uh, we got a couple of studs with us. We're going to be talking about short game. We're going to be talking about course management, and you guys are going to be able to see some uh, pretty sweet moves. So uh, we got Kevin Moon, who came out from uh, Seattle. He's going to join us. Uh, he's a teaching professional up in Seattle. He's come out for the next couple of days to put some work in. And Bethany Wu, who's been an all-star here in SoCal uh, ever since she was in diapers and uh, played at UCLA, and now she's on the Epson tour. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Back flag. So what do you hit a full 50? Like 120. Like 120, okay. So you got 102, little into the breeze, a little up, uh -huh. right? You're hitting a wedge, so we don't need to add that much. It's not like you're back there hitting a three wood, right? And we got to play it to 10 up or whatever, right? Yeah. This ball's going to get up in the air pretty good, mm -hmm. but you're going to try to flight it down a little bit, right? Because yep. you're hitting a club that a full one goes 120, right? Okay. So just kind of like a mid flighted, maybe like a 10 o'clock, 50 degree, yep. one hopper stopper. Mm -hmm. Nice. See it. Nice. Well, all right. End of lesson. He just came out from Seattle to show off. Cool. <laughs> nice. I like it. What's going on with your stroke? Keeping the routine. Just like try to be fluid with it, but going into the ball, yeah. setting up, relax the right arm. Yeah. You know, just maintaining like some really good fluidity yeah. to everything, right? Yeah. And it all starts with your process mm -hmm. right off the bat, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like the stroke begins before it begins, right? Yeah, for sure. You're it's back like... behind it and then you get right into it. Soften the right hand. Bump, press. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then accepting like whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what the results are. You do the same thing over and over and over again, and you know that just due to the fact that uh, you're sticking to your routine and everything's got the same pace and same structure and same rhythm and tempo, results don't matter, right? Kind of what we did earlier, right? Yeah, exactly. Who would have ever thought it's as simple as making a soft underhand toss motion, right? Get that palm up to the sky. Fast impact. There you go. Right? Open up the face a little bit. There you go. Big, long, slow motion. Palm to the sky. Mm. Nice. Pretty good, man. Easy peasy. Thank you. Yeah, got a little uh, CP action, right? And uh, what do you guys got? Like 88, 90. 91. All right. Kind of a tucked middle right flag. You got a slope, pretty severe slope right in front of the flag. What's your lie looking like there, Kev? Is it kind of sitting up? Yeah, it's sitting up pretty nicely. Yeah. So. You gonna put some good spin on it from that line? It looks like you probably can, right? Yeah. And what's what's 88 yards for you? I imagine it's some sort of like soft 60 degree, right? Uh huh. Not quite a full one. Yeah. 88, but we're down. I don't know, maybe three, right? So we got like 85. Mm -hmm. Definitely, if you're gonna hit a 60, even if you were to pull out like a. A 56. That's what I was Oh, thinking. that's what you got. Keep it a little Yeah, lower. even with the 56, if you land it short of that flag, it's going to rip back. Even if you go kind of soft-handed and shorter with it, uh -huh. right? So, what's a what's a full bore 60 go? Full bore 60, about 95. Okay. How much you got to take? I, I am always for somebody Flighting it down, for sure. Which I, I think you should still do with the 56. 56 Just yeah. realize that you need to fly it there. Okay. 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 And if it takes one big hop and stops, it's 
Oh, you're on the edge of the fringe, right? You just don't want it ripping back off the front edge of the screen. Okay. So let's fly it. Let's fly it 85 yards. 85. Yeah. Okay. With some stuff like this as kind of like a almost kind of like a barometer of how my hands are working like one of these shots where I only need to fly it probably about four or five feet yeah. right and see how much zip I can put on it yep. you know what I'm talking about just kind of just kind of like a, a short and soft motion I don't have to fly it very far but it gives me a good idea as to how my hands are working for the day mm -hmm. right I think this is kind of like a really good warm-up shot where I'm just feeling it out to see if I can land it maybe about a foot onto the green and get it to check pretty quick, mm -hmm. right? Like that. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just a little push. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can do it better the second time. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I pulled that one. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I like that. You know, there's a lot of people that get freaked out about one like this because I've got Kakuya. Just show you the green, and I've got a lot of slope right there. So if I hit anything into that fringe, it's uh, it's not gonna go anywhere, right? Even if I take out like a pitching wedge and try to rip one into the face, I might get unlucky and it might pop back. If I fly it onto the surface, just barely onto the surface, I've got more slope working back towards me. So it could stop short and then roll back. I just gotta be really committed with this one. Hit one kind of low and hot. Let's see if I can do that out of this lie. Yeah, it's possible. Kind of on the lower side, kind of on the hotter side. Land it maybe three feet short of the hole and just be okay with it going 10 to 15 feet by because there's just not a whole lot of good that can happen from here. So fly it about three feet on and see what happens. get lucky and land it just short of the green and have it tap in for par. Nice. So, worked out. Nice. So what would you guys be thinking here? Uh, it's kind of soft back here because we got a big tree, right? Typically the ground's kind of uh, soft around trees, right? Uh, the grass is kind of sparse. Um, Ball sitting down, not very much green to work with. I don't know. What would you be thinking, Beth, on something like this? Just contact. First, uh -huh. first like whatever I can I assess the lie, mm -hmm. see what kind of content, contact I can get, and yeah. then figure out where to land it from there. Okay. Um, Based off of what you got right there, what do you? Uh, probably kind of have to like. Gotta try to get under it a little bit if I okay. can. And okay. then I'll try to land this just a couple feet on the green. Just let the ball um, roll out. Okay, and cool. Let's see it. So you're throwing, throwing you're, it you're throwing it here. Yeah. Right? Okay. Nice. Duty. Really good. That worked. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We're on a down slope, but we're on some good stuff here. What would you do here, Kev? 
What are you thinking here? You're on a down slope, but you got a good lie. But you don't have the best. Well, you got a little bit of green to work with. Ball sitting up, so mm -hmm. slightly open the face up. Yeah. They go back in the stance. And okay. Like Maybe that. it would be important here to get, you know, your hips and your shoulders in line with the slope, right? Uh -huh. So that we can get the get the club going on the same uh, path as the slope, right? Yep. Yep. So we're trying to set our body up to make it just like we're hitting off of a, you know, a standard flat lie, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get it. Oh, Woo. nice. Easy piece. got too much zip on it. Oh, oh, you got her. Ooh, ooh, get it. Oh, a bad shot. Somebody hits it to a foot out of a nasty lie. Keeps the ball. <laughs> a whole bunch of slope working away from them. And yeah, you got a hole out out here. Otherwise, you're just not in the game, okay? <laughs> There we go. Oh, I can't. <laughs> there we go. Oh, too much zip, man. Too much zip. Too much zip. Oh. Oh! 